Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and Lenovo now is getting into the PC stick business and I bought this one for 70 bucks on uh, the Microsoft Store's Black Friday sale. So let's take a look at it. It's funny how a year ago a PC stick was a big deal and now everybody's got one and the prices keep dropping. So this was $70 you know, in a special promotional sale. I'm seeing it though for about $99 right now. So I think that's probably where uh, its price is going to settle out. Uh, like all the other sticks we've looked at, this has the older Atom Bay Trail processor on board. Uh, 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Uh, like the Intel Compute Stick, it's got the full-size USB port on this side. Uh, you have a power adapter over here for plugging power into the device. You have your uh, power button over there. And on the other side, just a single micro SD slot. Now, what's interesting about this one, and like the Compute Stick, uh, there is a fan built in. And unlike the Compute Stick, this fan is actually kind of noisy. Once it uh, kicks on, you will hear it, especially if you're in a quiet room. So if you're looking for a fanless uh, PC on a stick, that one we looked at from Quantum Suppliers was actually kind of nice. It had a really good heat sink on it, uh, completely silent. There was a couple others that we looked at also, uh, which I'll provide down below in a uh, link of all the cheap uh, PC sticks we have looked at over the last couple of months. So what you do is you plug it into your television directly here with the HDMI port there, uh, or you can run a, a little a extension cable that they include in the box as well. So if you can't really fit this behind your television, uh, you can extend it a little bit. And I do want to say that this is the computer right here. There's nothing else you need uh, to get up and running beyond the keyboard and mouse. Uh, we're going to be using a wireless one from Logitech. A lot of people have been asking, can you plug these things into your computer to get them to work? Uh, you don't do that. You plug it into a television because this is the computer. So let's see how this computer works. We're going to boot it up and run our usual tests on it. All right, so let's boot it up and see how fast everything comes to life on here. I do have a little dongle for my uh, Logitech keyboard here. I bought this a little while ago. It's about $100. This is called the K830, and uh, it's an all-in-one keyboard here with a trackpad built in. It has Bluetooth, so you could connect to the uh, Lenovo device via Bluetooth and keep that USB port free, although it's sometimes easier just to put uh, the dongle in with this. But this is a great keyboard for computers like this that you might uh, tuck behind the television. You can see, though, uh, just how quickly everything comes up. So I'm going to log in here real quick, and then we are going to do our usual uh, barrage of tests here, starting with uh, some web browsing. All right, let's pop in and take a look at my YouTube channel here so we can see how everything performs. It does render up pretty quickly, about on par with what uh, we've seen other PCs on a stick be able to do, although on paper it's slightly slower than some of the other ones that we've looked at. But the page renders here uh, relatively quickly. I can hop around into different pages and uh, get a feel for how fast those things will render. It does not have wireless AC on board. It's just wireless N at 2.4 gigahertz, but uh, it generally works well for the kinds of things you would do with a low-powered PC like this. So I'm uh, pretty pleased with its performance and again it's pretty much on par with where we've seen other uh, devices like it here we're able to go full screen on a 1080p video here uh, no lag it really does uh, keep up with the video playback quite well on the edge browser uh, the one area where you'll see issues with these devices is when you're in chrome trying to play back 60 frames per second content like this video uh, runs fine in uh, the edge browser but you'll get some lag on youtube uh, 60 frames per second video on uh, Chrome because they don't support the hardware acceleration that is built into this thing. So I would use Edge if you're looking at uh, some of the uh, higher end video here, but this is playing back just fine. So it uh, really does well as a web browsing device. And on the Octane benchmark test, which runs in Chrome, uh, which measures how well it can do its HTML rendering and JavaScript and all of those things, uh, we get a score of 6,223, which puts it a little bit below uh, some of the other computers that are configured with the same processor. So I think they have made some decisions here uh, to scale the processor just a little bit back for uh, thermal reasons because they don't want to risk it, which is why they put the fan on here also. Uh, some of the other uh, stick manufacturers out there have been a little uh, more risky perhaps in how they've approached the thermal limitations of their processors. And I think what we're seeing here is just a slight uh, step down, not a huge one, but enough to uh, maybe not be noticeable, but enough to show up on a benchmark like this. So it's going to perform a little bit slower than some of the other devices we've used. But I think uh, Lenovo is playing it safe here with a uh, $100 PC. But it does things like Microsoft Word just fine. So we've got our big newsletter template up here. I can scroll through things pretty quickly. Uh, the things do render on screen relatively quickly for uh, what we have for our processor in this $100 PC. I can resize things and uh, do all the things you would normally do in a Word document without too much lag. And I think it will be uh, fine for schoolwork and office work for that matter too, because it really you don't really need all that much these days to do word processing. And even these cheap processors uh, do a really good job with that. But what about gaming? Let's take a look at Minecraft real quick. 
So the Minecraft performance running the Optifine Performance Enhancement plugin uh, seems to be working pretty well. We're getting about 20 to 30 frames per second, which is pretty close to what I've seen with uh, other stick PCs and other Atom-based uh, machines as well. So not too bad on the Minecraft performance here, uh, pretty much where I'd expect it to be with the processor in here. The fan, though, is running pretty well. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can certainly hear it in here. So uh, that will be something you'll notice if you are, again, looking for a fanless device, you might want to look elsewhere. On the 3D Mark CloudGate test, though, we got a score of 980, which is actually the lowest score I've gotten since I've uh, started testing these devices with this. So again, you'll see a little bit of a better score with some of these other devices out there at the same price point. Now this is a signature edition PC, at least it was labeled as such when I bought it at the Microsoft store. However, it does have the Lenovo Solution Center on here. That was the only piece of software that uh, came installed that's not part of the basic Windows 10 installation. I'm not sure if this is a violation of the signature PC program, but it was on here when I installed it. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. But other than that, I think it's a pretty decent little compute stick for $99. It's certainly small enough and can uh, tuck behind your monitor and you really stay out of sight, but uh, can provide some decent performance. Performance. What's nice about this one versus one you might buy on Amazon or something from a manufacturer you haven't heard of before is that it is backed up by Lenovo. They have a very long history of making PCs. They're one of the largest PC makers in the world, uh, so you should be able to get decent support on it. Uh, there's also a one-year warranty on here where some of those other PCs that come from no-name companies might be a little bit problematic in the support department and the warranty department, so you'll have a little bit better peace of mind perhaps with this than another one. Uh, but for the same price, uh, you can get the Kangaroo PC, which is my current favorite one. This is from InFocus. I did a full review of this one so you can check it out. I won't go through all of it again, but uh, this is faster. It's running with a newer processor, has a few more ports on it, and I think is a better value for uh, the money. So you may want to take a look at this one, but if you really want something tiny, uh, this one certainly will uh, foot the bill and is a pretty nicely constructed little stick PC. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.